Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dulakia, is going to explain you NOR gate as a universal gate in this session. Means by using NOR gate, we can implement any other gate. So here, step by step, I'll explain how we can implement inverter means NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate and XNOR gate by using NOR gate. So before I explain all those things we should know the truth table which is there with nor gate and i have made separate session for nor gate even where you can understand how this truth table is coming so i'm writing that truth table for two terminal nor gate where if two terminals are a and b and if my output is y then there are total four possibilities 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and nor gate output that will be 1 0 0 0 that is how output will be there nor gate explains if any input is 1 then output is 0 so as per that this truth table is there you can see here one input is 1 so output is 0 here one input is 1 so output is 0 and here both inputs are 1 so output is 0 right so that is how truth table of nor gate is there now let us make nor gate as not gate so to have NOT gate by using NOR gate, all we need to do is we need to short both of these input terminals. So as if you short input terminals of NOR gate, you can have NOT gate. So if I say my input is A, here my output is Y, then you can see for 0, 0 input output is 1 and for 1, 1 output is 0. So here we can clearly see if we short both of the inputs then output will be not gate right so that is a bar now next is or gate by nor gate so next is or gate by nor gate so or gate that is invert of nor gate right so all we need to do is if I say I have NOR gate over here and if I provide one inverter then I can have OR gate. So over here by shorting this two terminal I am connecting inverter of NOR gate right and now I can have OR gate over here as this is inverter right. So if you see it's functioning so over here over here there will be a plus b whole bar and because of this inverter now this will be a plus b double bar will get cancelled and that will be a plus b over here right so that is how we can have or gate by using nor gate now i'll explain you nor gate as and gate so we are dealing with to implement nor gate as and gate so you just see how i am doing this that is what we are dealing with to do it by using de morgan's theorem now see how we do that so see in de morgan's theorem if i have y that is a bar plus b bar whole bar right so in that case if we apply de morgan's theorem then this will be a double bar dot b double bar that will be a dot b so d morgan's theorem that we are dealing with to apply over here right so see if i say i have a over here and i have b over here so first i need to do invert of that right so invert of a and b by using nor we can do it by having simply like this right so this is what a bar and b bar now we can give it to nor gate so this is my output y so here you can clearly see as per de morgan's theorem here there will be a bar here there will be b bar and nor of this that is a dot b right so here our output will be a dot b so nor gate can be used as and gate 
right now as if you want as if you want nor gate as nand gate so for nand operation from here if you provide another inverter right then this will be nor gate as nand gate right so i'm not writing it separately you can see from here if i again connect one inverter then that will be nor gate as nand gate right now very important gate that is xor gate by using nor gate so here let me draw the circuit first and then i'll explain you step by step how it is happening so we have two terminal right and here we are taking both of this terminal to one nor gate and this is what we are applying it to nor gates and if we combine this two then we can have our output now see how this circuit functions as xor gate so here if you observe this is a here this is b and here this is a plus b whole bar right so that will be given to both of this so this has to be a plus a plus b whole bar whole bar and over here this will be b plus a plus b whole bar whole bar right so first we need to simplify this two so as if i simplify this if you apply de morgan's theorem then this will be a bar dot a plus b whole bars bar and bar bar will get cancelled right so this will be a bar dot a plus b now if you further simplify this then this will be a bar dot a plus a bar dot b and a bar dot a that is zero so we can say this is a bar dot b and similarly we can simplify this where if you apply de morgan's theorem over here then this will be b bar dot a plus b bar bar right so this plus that we are converting into dot and variables are given with complements right so a bar a plus b whole bar complement that is been given so this double complement will get cancel so that will be b bar dot a plus b let us further simplify this so b bar a plus b b bar so this is zero so we can say this is b bar a now we are giving this over here so one input is a bar b and second input is b bar a to this nor gate so my output y right my output y now i can say y is equals to a bar b plus b bar a whole bar right and this is what x nor x nor gate right so again all i need to do is i need to connect one inverter over here right and if i connect one inverter over here let us say this is y dash then y dash will be complement of this so that will be a bar b plus b bar a and that is xor gate so here we can say y is x nor gate and y dash is xor gate right so that is how we can implement xor and x nor gate by using nor gate so these are the things which we need to focus now there can be 
question like I have implemented it directly like this. See, there are many ways, but over here, this circuit utilizes minimum number of NOR gates to implement XOR gate. That's why I have used this. Otherwise, there are some other methods by which even we can make XOR gate by using NOR gate. But in that, there are some more number of XNOR uh, There are some more numbers of NOR gates which is there. So I have used this circuit directly. Now in next session, I'll explain how we can implement NAND gate as a universal gate. So you just see that session that will be even helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. The reason is your suggestions are motivating me and that is giving me idea what is that which I need to place over here so that students can learn effectively and they can gain maximum knowledge out of it. So please give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this.